Hello, Forecaster here again, and we are back for episode 107. And in this episode, we're going to take a little break from the um, the signals, and we're going to have a look at Serene and the mining program again. So I've made a few changes, um, and as you can probably tell if you've seen this program before, is that the fluid scan subroutine is missing. It's been removed. Uh, this is because I discovered a problem with it, and that is that the fluid conditions don't detect um, flowing blocks. They only detect source blocks. And uh, this wasn't a problem with water because, well, water is easy to get rid of. Um, but with lava, unfortunately, uh, flowing blocks have a tendency to stick around even when the source block have been removed. They either take a while to go away or just don't go away, which is a problem. So what I've done instead is um, uh, I have used a new feature in the block conditions which is this checkbox here which enable them to detect uh, fluid blocks themselves uh, before I had the problem that um, the condition would be checking for uh, blocks in the in for example the path as this is and it would check if it only contains uh, admin anchor bedrock or air but if there was a fluid block in in it it would detect that and uh, treat it as think it was something it could dig out. It would go in here, but since the dig area can't remove fluid blocks, it wouldn't be able to do anything, so it would get stuck. It would never advance to the remainder of the program, and same for each of the slices. Now, however, it will tr uh, detect or treat fluid blocks the same as air blocks, and uh, it will check if the area contains any of these blocks and if there are no other blocks that it can dig out it will advance to the rest of the program or to the next slice and so on uh, and this all seems to work now uh, there's also another new bit to of the program that is down here uh, I've made a new variable called minor silk there's a condition here that checks this variable and if this is if x in this variable is 1 it is going to skip the or mining bit and just go into the done uh, subroutine uh, directly and the reason for this is that I finally acquired a steel pickaxe with silk touch on it after many many tries enchanting this pickaxe and removing it turning the enchantments into liquid experience I finally got this and this means that um, if I want I want to be able to tell the drone to only dig out the paths and leave as many ores as possible in the walls and I've added this condition here to do that now to actually tell the drone whether or not to um, to dig out ores, we're going to have to add something to this remote here. So, if I grab a checkbox, and you can click this, apparently, which also counts as if you're dragging it, which is interesting. Anyway, um, take this checkbox, and we're going to label it leave ores and we're going to set the variable 
of course, to Miner Silk. Apparently there's one with a capital M, which is strange. Uh, I'm going to have to double check, make sure that's not that one. Hmm, how odd. Anyway, so now we can check and uncheck this checkbox. Now, if we take the get global variable command, then type minor silk, we'll see that the minor silk variable is currently 0, 0, 0. If we check this, it will be 1, 0, 0. So when this is checked, the condition will return true because the this variable matches this uh, coordinate and only compares the x variables or x coordinates. Uh, it will return true and it will go to this text piece, jump to this label here. Uh, if x is not 1 here, these will not match and since there is no text piece on the false side, it will just continue down the program and do the um, ore mining as usual. Uh, so, I'm going to put this drone back here. and she's going to go into standby. Now for some reason she doesn't actually land on the uh, wall which is a little odd. She might want to let's do that Just want want uh, Serene to have a pedestal thing to sit at when she's not working. Oh, right. Might also notice that I've made a pair of nano suit boots for myself. So I now have a complete nano suit set, except for the chest piece, of course, which I have uh, where I have my energy pack. So, I guess we'll head down to into the mines and find a new spot to to mine at and tell uh, Serene to get going with that. Now, unfortunately, uh, let's have a look at this. Uh, since I've removed the uh, all the ore uh, recipes from the macerator, there's no real advantage. I keep doing that. Uh, whoops. Dang it. There's no advantage to uh, silk touching any ores um, because there's no recipe in here that will give me more breadstone than I would get from using the um, the what's it the fortune enchantment now there is this one of course but I don't have any carmenite because I haven't been in the twilight forest yet um, but yeah so I realized that afterwards that I'd remove those recipes but what I might do is I might 
add something like that to the rock crusher for redstone that will uh, provide or output more than the normal amount uh, but not probably not as much as um, probably not as much as the fortune enchantment now here is the last area that Serene dug out uh, I'm going to pick this iron up while I'm here and then we're going to head a little bit further in and see if we can't find a new spot uh, to mine out there was some more iron in the wall Um, I haven't, I haven't been that much around here, as is evident by there being a bunch of ore left in the walls. Uh, but we can probably find a good spot to let Serene cut loose around here that's a good amount of redstone uh, so actually right here is probably a good spot uh, so we'll put that right there and then we'll take the remote. Oh. That's not what I expected you to do, but... Okay. Now we're going to reset the program. Oh. right there there we go there's the admin anchor now Serene is going to go get uh, go get the tool and then she's going to come back and start digging out the path Might as well grab some extra redstone while she's doing that. Should still be quite a bit elsewhere around here for her to dig out. And as you can see, she's already at it. see if we can't get rid of this lava that is flowing here. Let's grab that. Make it a tad less dangerous for Drones. That's probably, yeah, that's uranium, not diamonds. Not sure, I think these fall in the mining area, so 
I'm just going to leave those. Let's go over here for a little bit while while Serene is working. Let's see if we can't find some more ore to bring back home with it with us. I should probably explore a bit more down here now that I have night vision, shouldn't I? I've been running around here in the dark before, for a bit at least. Um, here's a space that I started digging out, but I I stopped for some reason, and I can't quite remember why. water from that, which I don't really need. It's trying to get rid of it. But oh well. Um, ow. That was some Ow. Random damage. Not sure what that was from. There was some lapis. Ow. Some more random damage. That's weird. We can wait. Isn't fortune supposed to work on... Oh, there it goes. I guess it's... not always... triggered? Would have to be my... explanation for that? Hmm. That might not be worth it. Worth the cost of repairing the the pickaxe, but whatever. Been down here, I'm fairly sure. This is natural gas or something. Don't know what to do with that. I think you can collect it uh, in bottles or something, maybe, and do stuff with it, but I've never actually done that. Pretty sure there are some recipes that use it. Uh, but generally the bottles I have are full of water. Uh, actually, I can drink some of it and see what happens if I click the uh, the gas. If I can collect it with with a bottle, no. Maybe there isn't enough of it. I would guess. Not sure how to actually find a lot of it in one place, though. It seems to be spread out most of the time. But, oh well. Let's see what's over here. 
I have been up there on the uh, in the mine part, but I don't think I've actually checked what's down here. Dang it. Steel pickaxes are a lot faster than this drill. Which is a little weird, actually. Um, I guess it's a trade-off of it. Um, actually, it's, I guess it's the speed of an iron pickaxe. Maybe the diamond upgrade doesn't actually add any speed. Or at least not the full speed of a diamond pickaxe. Um, as a trade-off of its of it being electric. Not really sure though. Maybe a diamond pickaxe would be this slow as well. Maybe the the steel pickaxes from Railcraft are too fast, faster than they're supposed to be. Hmm. Because if I were to use a steel pickaxe on this, wasting a bit of the fortune enchantment, um, it's as you could tell, it's quite a bit faster. Hmm. I might have to do some investigating on that. Maybe I should make a diamond pickaxe. Or maybe just have an unenchanted steel pickaxe for digging out ores. That might be something I could do. Because this enchanted one is pretty expensive to repair because of the enchantments, obviously. Uh, when using experience to do it. Uh, so, having an unenchanted one for regular ores, that would be cheaper to repair probably wouldn't be too bad of an idea. Put this water here to get a cell free to remove this lava here. To get this iron. Slowly but surely. There's some more. Where's the light coming from? There's lapis. That doesn't want to fall. Seems the air is getting worse. Fortunately I have the respirator on me so that shouldn't be too much of a problem. Uh, let's see, nothing more up there. Ah, uh, nah. I'm just going to Ooh, uh, ruby ore. I wonder if the uh, fortune enchantment works on that. Probably not. Dang. Uh, let's see. Let's 
what's up here? I guess I'll go this this way. I have most likely explored most of this already. It seems I've left some goodies around anyway. There's some uranium ore. And a pitfall, apparently. To an underground lake. Some more ruby. I guess we'll grab that, because... Why not? Don't know if I can actually do anything with these. Can make blocks out of them. Which isn't very useful. There's some more lava. Don't know if I've been down this way. Probably have. There's some lead. You can grab that. Because why not? Hmm. I don't think I've been here. Well, that didn't really help. Ooh. This is a new ravine. I think it is. That's interesting. Hmm. Ah, uh, well. There's a lot of water in this one. Let's see if we can't get rid of some more. There we go. Should help out a bit. Uh, and that dried out some more. That's not what I meant to do. Nope. Clicking the right spot with these is a little awkward sometimes. Put one in there, and one there, and then one there to get a smooth surface. Let's let's get rid of this one as well to get mo moving around here a little easier. There we go. That should do. I think. Perhaps. We have some more iron. We can put that there. Um, let's dig this up. Uh, let's grab that and let's head down here. And there is a bunch more water, of course. I think I'm just going to block it off. Oops. This time, like that. Break that again. And this does indeed look like a ravine I have not been in before. We have some flowing lava. Which we're going to close in. 
see quite a bit of iron in this ravine. Uh, why do I have slowness? That's odd. Hmm. Not sure. I guess it's because of the bad air. One would presume, so... Yes. That was it. Right. Um, I think it's about time we head back out. We'll see if we can find our way back to the... There's some more lead. I'll have that. Let's see if we can't find our way back out to the ravine. Should be around here somewhere. Oh, that was interesting. I heard some creaking. That has to be... Um... Matmos making that sound because we are around wood. I don't think I've heard that before. So yeah, that's very interesting indeed. Right, so we have the drones are working away tirelessly here. Which is Good, so we're going to head back towards the base. And we still have some lava here. There we go. Grab that. And now we're going to head back. Kill, kill a skeleton. Throw his bones on the ground. Almost be back. Let's hope we don't get any surprises in our faces like a creeper or a swarm of zombies or a, uh, a throg of skill archers. This will do. Home, sweet home. Laggy, laggy home. Um, seems this is running. We have some ore, some cobblestone. All the cobblestone is ending up here because these are full. But that's good. Um, happens oh oh Bl ow what what happened there is this full no blue limestone cobbled stone something is going wrong here uh the blue limestone cobblestone Is that not on the dirt list? Let's see. We have blue limestone cobblestone. Yeah. 
it is on the dirt list. The dirt list is supposed to go to yellow. So why is this full of blue limestone? Cobblestone, then. Let's put that in there. That should be put into this sorter here. Should be sent down the blue path. There it comes. And then here, it should get sent down the yellow path. But it doesn't. That is... odd. We don't want this crate to be full of cobblestone. That's... that's not what it's for. This matches... I wonder if the same happens for green limestone. Hmm. Well, uh, it looks like we have reached the end of the episode, I'm afraid. So, we are going to have to come back for the next episode. Uh, maybe I'll solve this by then. Maybe not. We'll see what we get up to then. So, I will see you then.